high art of getting an appointment with anyone part two. So let's say you got this executive on the phone and they said no and they hung up. Or let's say now the gatekeeper, you've pitched your best stuff to that gatekeeper and she has tried to pitch it to the boss and, um, you know, the boss has still said no. So are we done? Or are we just getting started? Okay. We are just getting started. You got it exactly right. So part two. Um, so more steps to get an appointment with anyone. We're just going to keep going. This three against one tackle illustrates the obstacles you face every day in your effort to break through the clutter. There's three guys that take this one guy down. That's the kind of determination. Do you have true grit? And I just, Peter, Cooperman? I just want to make sure, well, okay. Uh, Michael, so after Peter takes care of that, I make sure he's in the room for this one, okay? Yeah. Peter Cooperman, yeah. Okay, various applications of this content. So this is an excellent guideline for B2C sales situations. One of the weakest parts of B2C marketing is the lack of building a bond once a customer enters your world. So as we go through this, think of what tools you could build that would make this work for you. Um, also for B2C, consider how you might get this material to affiliates because affiliates for B2C are a really great way to grow any B2C. For B2B, this is obvious. This material is spot on for anyone who has to get an appointment with a B2B prospect. So this is, you know, the clutter factor. 30,000 commercial messages per day. You got to try and find the way to break through that clutter. So this teaches you how to absolutely positively break through that clutter, stand out in the crowd. So the object of the game is to get an appointment, right, as we said. And your company needs to create an arsenal of standard tools, all with the objective of getting the appointment.